Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School with uh, Sanjit Singh Dong, who is the uh, investment director at Intel Capital. Welcome, Sanjit. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Thanks for having me here at Berkeley. So, Intel has been known historically as a hardware manufacturer, and that's uh, what has uh, been at the root of their success for a long time. But they've been transitioning into more of a software company, and in fact, even uh, into a, uh, a data company. So, um, how is your role at Intel Capital um, help Intel uh, with uh, this uh, transformation? Intel is definitely transitioning into a data company, and uh, Intel will continue to do hardware. That remains at the core of what Intel does, but in addition to that, Intel is adding more software and AI to its portfolio uh, suite as well. From an Intel Capital standpoint, our role is to find companies that can help Intel with that transformation, companies that have access to data in different verticals, companies that can create joint go-to-market strategies between Intel and that company and go, for example, to retail, fintech, et cetera. And we also learn from these companies how they are leveraging data as an unfair advantage for themselves. And we learn from them and hopefully we are able to apply some of those learnings within Intel and we are able to tune Intel Silicon to run data-oriented engines much better. And if, if you're targeting uh, an early stage company for investment, what are the kinds of things that you uh, are, are looking at? I mean, we all know that the, the algorithms are uh, commodified now, uh, open sourced. Um, do you focus primarily on their data acquisition strategy? What, what is it that you're looking for? We look for, at an early stage, we look for companies that have very strong teams with deep domain expertise in their area of interest. We look for companies that have a great vision where they will be going over time, where they're headed, and how they will get to a differenti differentiated point using data. You know, if you're an early stage company, you're really pitching to the heart of the investor rather than to the brain of the investor at an early stage. At later stages, when you have data and market proof, revenue, et cetera, you are really pitching to the brain of the investor. That's really the difference. And, and what do you think the number one mistake is that uh, kind of data-oriented startups uh, uh, make? I think a uh, lot of startups, including the data-oriented startups at an early stage, make the mistake of not answering why now. Why would their solution be adopted in the market now, now meaning in the next, let's say, one or two years versus in five years. And a lot of them paint a huge market, $100 billion, et cetera, et cetera, but, and they also have great teams, but they are not able to connect the two together and say, hey, my product will sell in the market product now. Fit. It's a product market fit and a timing issue. A lot of them fail because of that. Well, great, Sanjeet. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Mm-hmm.